Hello everybody, George Taylor from OnTract Audio here. Today I'd like to talk about integrated amplifiers. I have with me the Angela Gilbert Young I-806 integrated amplifier. It's right in the middle of the integrated amplifier line. Currently there are five integrated amplifiers, the I-800, the I-802, the I-806, the I-810, and the soon to be brand new I-812. Oh, you don't want me to talk about the I-812 yet? I should wait till later for the I-812? Uh, Steven Spielberg does not want me to talk about the I-812 at this point, so forget you heard it. Anyway, middle of the integrated amplifier line, it is a solid state, solid state amplifier. Completely solid state from beginning to end, no simulated tube circuit like the I-812. I oh, sorry, <laughs> we don't have an I-812 yet. No real tube circuit like the I-810, which we do have right now. 80 watts per channel. This integrated is a tremendous building block. It's got just over one farad of capacitance in the power supply right now, but that can be increased greatly. Um, and frankly, increasing it greatly will have a great effect. But this is... As it is, it's a very good integrated amplifier. I mean, there are plenty of people that would buy this and just leave it the way it is because it sounds very, very good. Um, other than that, there's not much to talk about on an integrated amplifier. I mean, you plug stuff into it, it makes it louder, it goes into your speakers, and, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you listen to sound. So it's not complicated. Here we have the input selector switch, three positions, because the I-86 comes standard with three RCA inputs. Those inputs can be changed to something else or we could probably do more. Those are custom options and uh, something to talk about another time if that's something you'd be interested in hearing about. Over here we have the volume control. It is a remote volume control. All of the i-series integrated amplifiers come with a remote volume control. On off switch. <clears throat> On the back of the amplifier, the back panel, which is a little bit more interesting, we have a ground terminal. We have a ground lift switch, and actually that's not the correct terminology for that switch. The switch disconnects the signal ground from the earth ground. The earth ground is always connected to the earth ground, obviously. We would call it that. We would call it the signal ground disconnect from the earth ground, except there's really not all that much room on the back panel here to write that, so we put in the term lift because everybody sort of understands what that means. We have two power supply upgrade jacks. We have this jack up here for SP capacitor pack upgrades. Currently there are three models of standard SP capacitor pack upgrade. Down here we have an FCF input jack for output power supply upgrades, output stage power supply upgrades. Currently we have the FCF1, the FCF2, and the FCF3. Custom FCF modules are available. Um, again, something to talk about if you wanted to buy this amp and then upgrade it later on, but you might find that you just don't need to. We have a set of speaker binding posts for the left channel and the right channel. And then over here we have three RCA inputs and we have an output down at the bottom for a subwoofer should you wish to add one. Some people do, some people don't. And that's really all there is to say about this amplifier other than that it's a terrific starting point for an audio system. It's, it's a very good amplifier, very competent amplifier that really should last you somewhere between 15, 20 years, 30 years, I mean, it won't break down. Um, you may want to upgrade it and make it sound better, but this is, a, this is a piece of a system that can stay in your system for a long, long time and bring you a lot of musical satisfaction. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. If you need more information, a description of the i806 can be read at angela-gilbert.com. If you have questions about the amplifier, or you want to come and hear the amplifier, then first of all you could check out my website at www 
www.ontractaudio.com or you can contact me via email at ontractaudio at rogers.com. Take care, hope to talk to you or see you in the shop sometime soon.